Hello, my name is Juan Esteban Gallo, and today I will show you why we Colombians are more than drugs. Now, one of the worst feelings in the world for me is that of getting to the United States, Europe, or any other country, really, walking up to the immigration booth and handing my Colombian passport, watching how the kind smile of the immigration agent suddenly fades away as he or she starts staring up and down at me and my family as if we were so, some sort of convicts or criminals. After a short while, they delivered to take me and my dad to a small room in the corner of the airport where we are to wait for hours and hours without anyone talking to us, without anyone answering any of our questions until a lady says, you can go now. There was a mix-up. This idea that we Colombians impose a threat to the places we visit or that we're seen as convicts or criminals in the places we go to inspired me to create a survey amongst teenagers aged 14 through 20 from 17 different countries to captivate their true image of Colombia. In spite of this, the results were very surprising because when I asked them if they could summarize their view of the country in one word, 44.6% of them said drugs or something to do with them, whilst only 3.6% of them said coffee and 8.9% culture, two of the strongest pillars of our identity. But when I asked them if they had ever visited Colombia, only 21.4% of them said they actually had come to the country. And if you trace back the responses of that 21.4% of respondents, not a single one of them mentions drugs, Pablo Escobar, narcos, or anything of the sort within any of their responses. Now, I've been lucky enough to count with the opportunity to participate in a variety of international events, like was the 24th World Scout Jamboree where 55,000 scouts from 150 different countries came together in the United States to share the values of scouting. In spite of this, nearly every single time that I went to introduce myself to someone from a drastically different country, as Colombian, the conversation steered towards drugs, Pablo Escobar, or they began making comments of bad taste, like was asking me if my father was a drug dealer. In fact, there was this one time when a group of international scouts came to our campsite and dead seriously asked for some drugs to buy. They looked straight into our eyes and asked for weed or cocaine, because as we were Colombians, we were supposed to have something on us, something to sell. Because in the end, that's who we are, right? A bunch of drug dealers. Now, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie once said that the single story creates stereotypes. And the problem with stereotypes is not that they're untrue, it's that they're incomplete. And this is what happens here in Colombia and in most cases around the world, really. Because yes, drugs are part of our nation's history. Yes, Paulo Escobar is part of our nation's identity, but it's not all of it. Because those two horrible things go against the efforts of the 49 million Colombians whom wake up every single day to build a nation upon peace, prosperity, and happiness. So, where do these stereotypes come from? Where is this single story created? The first link is to the media industry, because when I asked my respondents if they could trace back to the origin their responses, around 52% of them said something to do with the media. Whether it was a film, TV show, football match, or even the news, it had to do with the media. And thus, it's easy to conclude that shows such as Narcos or Paulo Escobar, El Patron del Mal, which we Colombians produce, showcase an image of our nation that go against the efforts of those 49 million Colombians trying to build a better nation for the world to see us by. Second is the most infuriating thing of all, and it's the internet. When you Google facts about Colombia, if you're not redirected to Columbia University, this is the first web page that will appear. The first two facts read, one, notorious drug lord Paulo Escobar reportedly offered to pay Colombia's national debt of $10 billion to improve his reputation and escape the crossers of justice. And two, Colombia's second city, Medellin, was once the murder capital of the world, with 17 murders every day in 1991. Tell me, what will the world think of us when the most frequently used source of information on Earth has this to say about our country prior to all the beautiful things we have to offer? It's unacceptable. And then comes the necessity to stop romanticizing Paulo Escobar, because he is no national hero. There are 5,500 deaths attributed to him and his crime organization. 
which is why it is truly saddening to watch all the different products and merchandise with his face printed on them as you walk about the streets of Bogotá, Medellín, and most other cities of Colombia. These products portray him and his crime organization as some idols, some people that we admire, which is completely false. But luckily, our identity is no single story, because we are so much more than narcos. If you ever ask an average Colombian what he or she is most proud of their nation, you're likely to encounter biodiversity within the conversation. Because we're the second most biodiverse country on Earth, after being 17 times smaller than Brazil, the first. We showcase nearly every single habitat on Earth. And we have 10% of the world's biodiversity, but it extends far from animals and habitats, and it ranges into fruits and plants. Because one of the things that amazes most international visitors when they come is the widespread of fruits and vegetables they have to choose from when they go to a plaza de mercado or a supermarket. We have chontauro, piña, patilla, manzana, whatever you can imagine, we have it. I promise you that. We are lucky enough to count with 40,000 different kinds of plants, out of which 4,000 are only orchids, our national flower. We're proud to have 500,000 families whom wake up every day to cultivate one of the best coffee beans in the world. A bean that not only serves as one of the strongest pillars of our identity, but popularizes the name of our, of our nation amongst nearly every single corner of the planet. We're lucky to have some of the richest culture on Earth, with 87 different indigenous tribes. We have pre-colonial cities like Ciudad Perdida, colonial cities like is UNESCO World Heritage Site Cartagena, and modern cities like Bogotá or Medellín. And we have some of the most amazing landscapes that range from the world-class beaches of Tayrona Park to the deep, vast jungle of the Amazon. We have the world's liquid rainbow, Caño Cristales, and 80% of the Paramo, one of the most important sources of drinking water. And there is so much more that if I were to tell you, this TED talk would never end. Because in the end, Pablo Escobar and drugs are part of our identity. But amongst all the culture, all the places, all the products, and all the beautiful things we have to offer, they become a simple face a simple chapter amongst the story of being Colombian. So, how can you help complete our story? First, is an open-minded view of the world. If you're an international viewer who's made little to no sense of what I've just said, try to open your mind, broaden your horizons about our country and our people. If you ever get the chance to come or meet a Colombian, avoid making jokes or comments like he's asking them, if they're related to any notorious drug lord, if they have any cocaine to sell, or if their parents are drug dealers. Because A, it's not funny, and B, we've heard it all. Second is empathy and forgiveness. We as a nation need to be able to forgive ourselves for once being the largest producers of cocaine in the world. We need to be able to forgive ourselves for being the host nation of the murder capital of Earth. Because these events are part of our nation's past and thus they shall not define our future. But we shall never forget them, because if we do, we will be condemned to repeat them. And lastly is, if you're a Colombian, showcase a good image of yourself and your country, because we're no utopian society, let's face it. If you ever get the chance to travel abroad or to host someone coming from a different part of the planet, be happy, because we're known to be some of the happiest people on Earth. Be empathetic, be generous, because those two values define our identity amongst all corners of the planet. But most importantly, be Colombian. So, which chapter of our story will you tell the next time you are asked about Colombia? Thank you. <laughs>